Another question, Tom, um, from Les asking, have we already discussed Jane Eyre? No. About our tasting with Jane. No, we we, we were very lucky. Our, our tasting with Jane uh, was, was extended in that it was split across two sessions. We uh, Jane uh, arrived for lunch um, uh, when we had uh, some of our Hospice Syndicate members and we tried a, uh, half a dozen of her 22s uh, then, and then we tried the rest of the winery a few days later. Um, uh, Jane's 22s are, 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 you know, it sounds almost boring to say, but exceptional. You know, she's she's got such a handle on this vintage. Um, you know, there's um, the, Jane Jane's wines are never less than uh, elegant, and never less that they never present less than kind of plush uh, soyeurs fruit. Um, here. There's uh, there's a wonderful tension to the wines, um, you know. We we had our favourites um, for sure, but everything was was exactly where it should be. You know, it, it's um, it would have been disappointing if it had been anything less. But you know, it, she she she's expressed the vintage extremely well. Um, you know, it's it's we're, we're, Jane tends to bottle relatively early. In fact, most of, most of the wines will be bottled before the end of the year and this is a vintage where i think you can get away with that when you've got the quality of the fruit um you know you don't it doesn't need in many cases a lot of uh, strengthening or structuring from from extended passage in oak or any other vessel for that matter and the wines were just you know again they really were the epitome of kind of balance and harmony so um I think we're in for a treat. One one wine in particular we we would probably focus on. Uh, we we did our own barrel of uh, Pomar Premier Cru Arvale with Jane, her first ever Pomar Premier. Well, that was structurous, wasn't it? And it was amazing. And it was the it was the first time we tried it since um, since barrel, and it's now been bottled. And it's I I, I think Jane. But by dint of being a micro negotiant, by dint of owning very few parcels, if any, of her own land in the Cote d'Or, uh, it's, it's it's absolutely tantamount that she gets amazing fruit from amazing sites. And not just amazing vineyards, but amazing specific situated strips of vines within those vineyards. And she's done remarkably well in, in this particular instance. Um, she sort of epitomizes the vintage, Tom, in the sense that there's a sense of place to every wine. I think looking back on it, some of those solar years were a bit broad in terms of not having quite that focus. But in mm -hmm. 22, you feel that sense of place. Every vineyard feels right. And Jane yeah. always manages to bottle the perfume of each wine. Her wines are always yeah. floral and beautifully perfumed. Yeah. And so I think um I think she's she's had a she's had a great vintage. There's a there's a sense of confidence uh, about her winemaking now, which is entirely deserved. And, you know, all the kind of plaudits aside, she's just she knows exactly what she's doing. She knows the wine. She knows the growers she's working with. She knows the fruit she's working. And the end results are just hugely, hugely enjoyable.